The idea behind Roher really at the beginning was just to take all these old bikes off the streets and do something with them. Uh, it was not only a scourge and an eyesore, it was also one of those, oh god, I can't find a second hand bike anywhere, yet I do have this abandoned bike just in front of my house. We went from a very, very local and grassroots project to something with natural impact in terms of training and in terms of upcycling materials. We go to recycling centers and we take the bikes away. About 60-65% of them are put back on the road, so with new or second-hand parts, and 30-40% to are either dismantled or disposed of. I'd say on the recycling aspects, we have been recycling a thousand bikes a year for the past four years. So when we reached that number, well, you know, we knew that we actually had an impact uh, on Dublin environment. And as small as it is, it's one of those very kind of heartwarming moments where you actually realize that parking spaces are freer thanks to you or that somebody was able to cycle to work instead of driving that you took a car off the streets. Upcycled bicycles have always been very very successful and in demand just because of the cost but uh, when it comes to recycling or upcycling there's an awful lot of efforts to do still just to convince people that an upcycled product can be as good as a non-upcycled one. To my mind it just made sense not to have to use more resources to do the same thing. There is a grassroots movement about the upcycling and the recycling and there is, I mean people are very well informed, they know exactly what's going on. So yes, I mean we have to make it more desirable, we have to make it more kind of market friendly uh, but we also have to do it because we're living on, an, on the earth that has limited resources and we don't really have a choice.